I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? <clears throat> you think you can just make up stuff? lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? You missed your deadline! Damn. You can't stop me! Hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation?
have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. you coming, it will wake up. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Baby, just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more? Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? 
You have a lovely wife. Uh, if you don't mind me saying, I I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Oh, Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you're falling in love. Do me a love. favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. Hello? Mr. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really oh, Even oh, that no. sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> <coughs> the Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lock. Bye, Mr. Wake. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Hello? Anyone here? For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry 
returned. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. The power cable goes to that shed over there. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. The lights are on! Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. The island had once been the site for a love.